I, I, I came up with the idea for it about three years ago in my, in my house in, back in Dublin. Um, and I had been in a band when I was young, so I wanted to sort of mine something as a story for my own life. So I had been in a band, so I knew the A&R world a little bit, artist and repertoire and the music world slightly, and thought it would be interesting to sort of update that to the sort of the, the, uh, the whole internet sort of crisis in the music industry and to tell a story about a... Uh, I also wanted to do a thing on depression and alcoholism because I'm some of those things. Uh, and you know, there's, there was a certain sort of... Uh, I guess a, a thing that I wanted, to, a story that I wanted to tell about a guy who was uh, saved by art in some shape, whatever that art form was, whether it was music or painting or literature or whatever it was. Uh, I thought there was an interesting question to raise: uh, the idea of in in times of trouble and despair and recession or whatever else, can can art, you know, does art have a bigger job? Actually, it's not just for sort of distraction and entertainment, but actually that it actually is really keeps you going, keeps you motivated, and keeps you alive. So I wanted to sort of make a film about a guy who was on the edge, uh, who was sort of drawn back into the world of the living by a piece of art, in this case, music. It's been amazing working with them. They're, they're both amazing. Uh, they're both sort of polar opposites in a way, which is working really well in the script. They're, uh, you know, there couldn't be more different approaches to the work and couldn't be more di different styles, but they're complementing each other very well in, in the film and in the sort of the drama. And on set as well, they're, they're having great fun together, but it's kind of, it's very interesting to watch people work in such a different way. But they've both been great and they've both allowed me to, uh, to, to do what I wanted to do and to sort of discover the film as we go, as opposed to have a master plan for it. I kind of chip, chip away at it as I sort of go and they've been very, uh, sort of, they facilitated that. Why did I make a film in New York? Because actually New York's a bit like Dublin in many ways, which is hard to believe, but it's kind of true. Um, there's a kind of a sort of a, uh, you know, they've seen everything sort of attitude with New Yorkers, which in Dublin is kind of similar. We're not phased by a lot. We've been through a lot as a nation of people, the Irish. 600 years of tyranny uh, and famine and recessions back to back over hundreds of years and now just a huge uh, you know 21st century recession so there's a kind of a having made a couple of films in dublin i wanted to change city and do something outside there but with a similar sort of tone of kind of haphazard quality to it and sort of uh so we've been basically doing what I've been doing in Dublin for, for years as a filmmaker and making TV and stuff. We've tried to sort of move over here and do a film where we're sort of flying by the seat of our pants and changing location a lot and uh, trying to get the city to be a character as well as the, you know, the actors in the film. So yeah. that's why we filmed it here.